Damn it, there's a fan. That should be better. Um, yeah, I've got something uh, fun. Let's unbox it. <clears throat> okay. Um, did I just... I, I don't know. Anyways, this is another friendly arm, NanoPi. The NanoPi Neo 2. Sorry, I'm a little yawny today. Um, and open source tiny pie. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead. Fuck me. Let's go ahead and open it up here. Oh, I do like their boxes. They're fucking hard and quite tough. So they are nice. Okay. There we go. Bonus. <laughs> so this one. It says it on the uh, site, but this one does come with the pen headers. Cool. Ooh, they changed their book, it looks like. So we got layout, introduction, how to make the image, how to boot, uh, glance, essentials, and connecting it, and then how to SSH. Cool. And we have our board. Really? It's just right there. Thank you. Okay. And finally, our board. There we go. Okay. So. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Hold on. About that. Need to flip the camera. So. This is our board, and this is a 10 100 by 1000 chip, or Ethernet. And right there is the ASRock controller, I would guess. I haven't looked up the, where's my paper? I haven't looked up the uh, numbers on it, but I'm going to assume that that is the Ethernet controller because the uh, original Neo doesn't have that controller. So I know this one is 10100 and this one is gigabit. So that would be, you know, relatively good assumption. And the other big change with this chip is the processor. So this is an H5 all winner. This one uses the H3 all winner. This one is 64 bit. I'm pretty sure this one was only 32 bit. Not like it makes much different, but um, it can access more, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend, I have no idea. Um, one interesting thing that they did to make it a little bit more low profile was they sunk the ethernet down into the board. There is some solder connections there and there on the sides of the case so it can't be pushed down or moved. And it is surface mount whereas the old one is a through hole non-surface mount <clears throat> and you can see the height is different okay <laughs> sorry I'm still quite yawning <sighs> one thing I did order with this board was the heat sink I'm still waiting for my sample wards to arrive from uh, friendly arm but as soon as they announced this board, I ordered it. And then a few days later, I was talking to my contact and they are sending me uh, two more with the heatsink and the new case 
for it because they weren't ready um, at launch, but they should be ready now, which is pretty cool. So, um, you get the same heat sink that was used on that board and same fasteners and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on this board and I'll be right back. Here we go. And get rid of that now. So, put them next to each other and they're practically the same. Which I do like because they can use the same heat sink and not the same case, I don't believe, because of how uh, the Ethernet is dropped on this one. So, but I don't think the original had a case. I don't believe this was its case, essentially. And I do like that uh, the heat sink is like this, unlike the orange pie, which has to have the heat sink on top. I honestly would like to see, you know, if the uh, heat sink on the bottom. But anyways, uh, there is all three. Oh yeah, it does come with extra bolt-in nut to screw them. So if you lose one of either, you're safe. Anyways, so here is a, get out of here, a quick comparison of the Neo 1, Neo 2, and Orange Pie Zero. Uh, actually, I should put them this way. <laughs> because this is the H2+, plus, H3, H5. Grant, these two are relatively very similar. Uh, I don't remember what they uh, changed when they made, went from the H3 to the H2+, plus, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't too terribly much. Um, do, 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 what was I going to say? Oh, the biggest difference between these two and this one is these are pure headless. This does have a uh, composite video signal off of this uh, header. You can use SPI video off of these, but you know how well SPI video works. And yeah, I, I, I like these headless. I mean, these are really good headless devices. Um, this one, in fact, is my bungee server. So, yeah, works really, really well. Anyways, I can't wait to get my SS, my SSDs, fuck me, my SD cards in and uh, give these guys a burl. I might try and find at least two SD cards that I have lying around. That way I can get the benchmark test for these out of the way. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you disliked the video, well, you know what to do. And as always, you will see me in the next video. Bye!